Prince Harry and Meghan are to give their first interview since stepping back from royal duties. They'll speak to Oprah Winfrey in what has been described as a wide-ranging and intimate interview due to be aired by US broadcaster CBS next month. The, the interview follows news that the couple are expecting their second child, of course. Let's talk to our royal correspondent, Nicholas Witchell. Um, if this interview has actually been recorded already and is going out in a few weeks' time, does this mean that Prince Harry and Meghan are not coming back? Um, in short, yes, I think it probably does. Um, Wide-ranging and intimate, as the interview is being described, that sounds a little bit worrying from the palace's point of view, though they're keeping out of it. They're saying that now, since they are no longer working members of the royal family, it is entirely a matter for them to decide what media engagements they do. It's not clear at this point whether or not this interview has actually been recorded yet. Some reports suggest that it has, others uh, that it is still to be done. We do know that it is due to be transmitted on the 7th of March. Uh, but as I say, the palace line is that this is entirely a matter for them and they're being very pl playing a very straight bat to it. But uh, yeah, I think uh, we are moving very firmly in the direction where the, the uh, separation between them and the working royal family is uh, complete for the foreseeable future. And added to that, the Daily Mail reports today that um, Prince Harry is to lose his remaining royal patronage, patronages. Um, again, I don't know if that's true. I don't know if you know if it's true, but it, it feeds into this feeling that the, the split is becoming complete. Yeah, that's absolutely right. There's nothing official yet. This review isn't due to uh, come to a conclusion, uh, not for another month at least. Um, but I think there is no doubt that things are moving in that direction. Um, and, you know, really, there is a perspective that they've left the Queen, they've left the palace, very little alternative. It's clear that they're now very settled, very committed to their new life. They've bought a house in California. They've uh, en entertained uh, and agreed to various commercial arrangements with companies. And now the news of the interview with Oprah Winfrey. I mean, that in itself uh, suggests that they're not coming back, as I've been saying. Therefore, in terms of the uh, military patronages, I think uh, there is very, very little room for manoeuvre. And I think you have to ask yourself, what, for example, would the Royal Marines want? Would the Royal Marines want to have as their Captain General, uh, he took over from the Duke of Edinburgh, someone who jets in uh, when it suits him, as it were, from his home in California? I think there is a plausible argument which says that the Royal Marines want and deserve uh, a full-time, a, a full-ranking member of the royal family in this uh, honorary but uh, respected position within the corps of the Royal Marines. So I think that in all probability, uh, it will be the end of these patronages, yes. Mm. Um, just a, a point that a number of our viewers are, are making, this is from Sylvia. If Harry and Meghan want privacy, why are they doing an interview with Oprah? Well, that's a very good question, which uh, quite frankly is not for me to answer, but there is a sort of an inherent contradiction there, isn't there? I mean, we're just a couple of days after they uh, won uh, this landslide uh, victory, really, in the privacy case against the Associated Newspapers, the Mail on Sunday. A um, couple of days later, they uh, issue that photograph of them uh, announcing the very happy news of the pregnancy with the second child. And now they're doing what undoubtedly will be a gigantic uh, media event, this interview with Oprah Winfrey. Um, you know, there will be people who will point out that the only reason why she's got that platform is because Meghan Markle, the American actress, married into the British royal family. Now, she's clearly very intelligent, clearly very articulate. She's clearly ambitious, and she's got a message that she wishes to promulgate, and she is taking full advantage of her position and going on this uh, uh, huge uh, uh, American uh, talk interview programme. Thank you very much, Nicholas. Thank you. Our Royal Correspondent, Nicholas Witchell. Uh, lots of emails about Harry and Meghan. Uh, quite a number, I would say, the majority saying basically they can do what they want, leave them alone.